All right, let's get to my next guest as an employer. And I think I'm joined at least two thirds of Big and Tasty. We've got Playboy Mike Trusty and Sunshine. And one of them is on the air right now. How's it going? Hello, how's it going? Sunshine, great to have you on the show. Though. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me again. As always, love to be here. Very, very happy um, to have you. Um, looks like Mike will be joining us momentarily. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add him on here. Uh, so give us just a moment here. Uh, Mike, are you there? I am. Uh, Shashan, you still hey. there? <laughs> All right. I'm still here. Okay, looks like I got both people. Both individuals have joined me representing Big and Tasty is uh, Playboy Mike Trusty and their incredible talented manager Sunshine is joining me. So um, how's it going, Mike? Man, it is going well. It is an absolute pleasure to be on your show once again. Yeah, and I was just looking through my... Um, I was looking through my my Facebook memories a few days ago, and it was almost a year ago that I interviewed you, you know, as part of Fourth Customers. And in that interview, I remember you said you asked me, "Yo, are you going to interview wrestlers on this show?" And I said, "Yes, I am." And now here we are a year later. Ironically on the 15 year anniversary show. So here we go. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that is awesome. Kenny, congratulations on 15 years on this show. I, I appreciate you both, um, as musicians and as great representation in this fine art that we call professional wrestling. Um, before I forget, big shout out to, uh, sweet William Valentine. Uh, he's not able to be here, but uh, we uh, hope everything is well with him. And uh, we'll, we'll have all three of you on this show uh, in the future once he, he is able to. Um, but, Shashan, let me get to you yeah. first. Um, how, how are you health-wise? I know you've been going through some, um, some health things and everything. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Uh, right now, I'm doing pretty well. Um, currently in a full arm cast, unfortunately, um, but I'm healing quickly. Everything's going well. Um, it's just an old injury that's flared up um, during training and decided to go ahead and take care of it, get ahead of it before it becomes a bigger issue. Um, but yeah, it's going well. I'm feeling good. That's encouraging to hear. So, you know, one one way or another, injured or not injured, um, big and tasty, but Sunshine still forced to be dealt with. And any team that dares to face them are gonna be in trouble regardless. It's just <laughs> there's just no denying it whatsoever. Um, big and tasty, they their resume speaks for itself and you know what Sunshine here you know, you you you, you gotta, you know, watch out, man. The, the, this team don't play. Yes. They they don't play. Everyone has to keep in mind, you know, an injured tiger is more fierce than an uninjured one. You corner me, get me injured, you still gotta watch out. I have teeth. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the name oh, fool you. Do not let the name okay. Sunshine fool you. She she she's very fierce. <laughs> She's very fierce. That is that is true, and I can tell you that is true from uh, from training sessions. It's not like we get a, you know, sweet William Valentine and myself get to like just, you know, laze around when we're doing any kind of training. If, if, well, especially or at least when sunshine's there, uh, she <laughs> makes uh, she makes sure we get things done and. Uh, there's no lollygagging or anything like that, but but of course you know that's why we that's why we hired her in the first place and uh, or talked to her, you know, 
uh, gosh, low over three years ago now. Uh, uh, it's well, wow, gone yeah, fast. It's, it, it has gone pretty fast, I can tell you. But like, yeah, that's one of the reasons because uh, uh, we uh, we talked to her because, and we're so glad that uh, she agreed to do it to become our manager because uh, I mean, since she's been our manager. I mean, we've done nothing but just win, and, uh, you know, we have to – there's a lot – as you know, Kenny, there's a lot of politics in professional wrestling. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, you have to uh, you have to work your way around that. But ultimately, despite any politics, the, the best wrestler or the best team will come out on top, and I think that that, uh, that statement will bear true here very, very soon. Yes, you you said it correctly. Um, politics comes with the territory. Um, whether you're an individual or you're a team or you're a faction, is you gotta fight the system. You gotta fight your opponents, and you gotta fight mm-hmm. the system. Uh, and you have to go through all these hurdles to get the opportunities that you feel like you, you've earned, that you worked hard for, um, whether it's contendership for a title or the championships themselves. Um, it's, it's just it's just part of the, the it's part of the, the theatrics that makes professional wrestling very intriguing. It makes people mm-hmm. wanna wanna see what can big and tasty do to get to where they need to be. Um, so throughout the years that I've interviewed Big and Tasty uh, with Sunshine, I've learned about their opponents. I learned about your rivals, your nemesis, uh, promoters, doing everything and anything to, to, to put you on a disadvantage. Um, have y'all dealt with any of the those unfortunate circumstances in 2022 as far as the uh, shows y'all been able to do? Um, I need I need some names, and I need to know who who's been a thorn, <laughs> who's been a thorn to Big and Tasty and Sunshine this year. That, that's what I need to know. <laughs> well, I'll start out. Oh, go ahead, Sunshine. I was going to say, my uh, last appearance, I was able to uh, make ringside before, unfortunately, this injury injury got the best of me. Uh, Mick Roberts, I'm, I'm a firm believer if it wasn't for, you know, their shenanigans and unprofessionalism, uh, re- read between the lines, cheating, <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't be, you know, dealing with this injury. It wouldn't be as severe now had they, you know, taken their job seriously and wrestled the way that you're supposed to instead of, you know, doing everything they can for an easy win. Uh, keep in mind, they did not win despite their cheating. <laughs> but, uh, right. yeah, it, it's frustrating, you know, that you've got – teams out there that'll try to take shortcuts and unfortunately you know the good guys end yeah, up I mean, we would, getting we would injured because of it ne- we would never we would never take a shortcut in the ring that's for sure i mean no, anybody that, that that anybody that, that that cheats or breaks the rules in professional wrestling uh is is just an absolute loser because we don't have to cheat because we're the best team, that's for sure. And Kenny, right. just to tell you, kind of explain what she's talking about. So we mm-hmm. wrestled the McRoberts. Now, there's a team with Chuck McRoberts and and uh, Big Tommy uh, Cash. They're called Red, Wild, and Blue. Hmm. So they uh, thought they that's wanted another story. They thought they wanted <laughs> some of Big and Tasty. Yeah, exactly. Or uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Sunshine, what was uh, what's the name that you gave them? Oh, you're talking about uh, dead, mild, and ew, right? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. 
But so they they stepped up and they thought they wanted some of uh, big and tasty, right? And uh, and uh, for some reason, whenever we're there, you know, not one of them's not there. You know, either Tommy Cash is there or Chuck Roberts is there, but they're never there at the same time after they started, you know, running their mouths off. So in this particular instance that Sunshine's talking about, we wrestled the McRoberts, which is Chuck McRoberts, and his daughter. Uh, yeah, his daughter is also a wrestler. They form a mother, uh, mother, uh, a father daughter team. And, uh, the Chuck was constantly trying to, to, uh, kick and, and at, uh, at, uh, at sunshine at ringside. And, uh, you know, and she's having to, to try to try half the way to defend herself. And, um, uh, you know, and they, it was just, it was just an absolute mess. And, uh, I mean, uh, I, at I like that to... point, I was wearing a, a. Sorry, I have to interrupt because I'm I'm still mad about this. Um, I, at that point, I was wearing a brace, you know, trying to take it easy, and uh, he'd taken my brace off my arm, and that's why I firmly maintain, had it not been for him, I probably wouldn't be in the position that I am right now. Hmm. That's right. I mean, he took a brace off and tried to use it as a weapon. Uh, because you know there's a it's a it's a normal arm brace and so there's a you know big piece of metal down in it to because that's the point of it is to keep your arm straight and uh, and uh, you know they tried to cheat but they you know and they they we got our hands raised and we we beat them one two three in the middle of the ring clean and if anybody was there, any fans, any other wrestlers or, or media or whoever was there, they would tell you the same exact thing. Um, mm-hmm. But it seems it seems recently that uh, that uh, Bailey has uh, maybe smartened up a little bit. She's had a little bit of a fall yeah, out with her dad. So. She's caught up on it, and she knows what's up. Smart girl. Hmm. Yeah. So Mick Roberts is basically a name that I need to keep an eye on and with their shenanigans and so forth. Um, and as far as the brace, it's like, whether it's wrestling or outside of wrestling, you know, you put your hand on an individual with a brace on, that, that should be, that should, that's got lawsuit written all over it. You know, you yeah, you, exactly you was right. doing nothing wrong, and they felt the right. need to take this brace from you and use it as a weapon. I mean, what kind of what kind of uh, animals does one in this promotion like? What kind of individual would would do that to Shine? Like this this woman. That's the scary thing. Yes. It's one thing to put your hands on a manager. I mean, it's. An unfortunate part of the job, you know, you're close to the ring. You might, you know, have a boot come out and swing at you. I, that has happened many times. It happened during our match with McRoberts. Um, but, you know, an un- unhinged individual like that, who's to say he's not going to go out and attack, you know, an audience member? It's scary. And whoever the one in this organization needs to do a better job to protect the talent, not what? not just the wrestlers, but the managers. You know, they they already have to deal with these loudmouth, obnoxious fans that's yelling and screaming all sorts of stuff. But mm-hmm. come on, whoever's in charge of this promotion, you gotta do better. Take care of your talent. You know, take care of the people that travels hours just so right. they can perform mm-hmm. for you and the fans despite their disrespect or whatnot. That's just me. Kenny, I'll, I'll tell you the, a little bit of a story on that is, uh, you know, for, for years we talked about uh, Jeremy Bevan. He was yeah. the, the, the owner there at, uh, at Supreme Wrestling and and we talked we talked about him forever. Well, uh, mm-hmm. he ended up uh, retiring, and he sold the company. 
It was a fellow named Anthony Betancourt. Okay. Uh, he's the new owner there, the new guy in charge, right? Yeah. And now I've only ha- I've had a few interactions with him. Uh, I had so far, I haven't had too much negative or positive really to say. Um, all I know is is uh, that we ought to be seeing some title matches soon because you know we we we're we're the, we've been the best team there at Supreme Wrestling for gosh Sweet William Valentine and myself have been a tag team for 17 years now I mean you know we are we are the we are flat out the best team in in well not just supreme wrestling but in this whole area of the country and you know mm-hmm. we have the best manager and uh, and so Anthony Betancourt needs to recognize because you know they book us to come and wrestle right it's you know they know where we are they know how you know if we have to travel and uh, you know. That's the that's the whole th- thing. That's how it works. Well, I can just say that uh, uh, we need to be seeing some title matches, some contracts for title matches soon, or uh, well, <laughs> our manager will uh, will uh, be able, will have to take care of that. I'm I'm working as hard as I can. Uh, I'll tell you a secret of the trade, though. Um, you can tell a lot about an organization, uh, watching their refs, see what kind of refs they hire. That'll tell you a lot. Yeah. Those refs. I mean, obviously they have a huge responsibility in them, you know, making sure everything is one right down the middle and that's not no shenanigans mm-hmm. involved. Um, but there's some vendetta might be involved, might be some jealousy, might be involved with these refs, you know, might be a little mm-hmm. pressure, you know, that these refs that have to deal with, that they might do something that they shouldn't be doing, per se. Um, so, yeah, it, it just goes back to what I was saying earlier. Um, you know, wrestlers like Vic and Tasty, managers like Sunshine, you got to deal with all the the challenges you got to deal with everyone, you know, from this, and it's unfortunate. So, yeah, some of these refs, you know, they got to do a better job. They got to have better control of these matches that they are assigned to. Um, Don't let the fans get into, get in the way of you doing your job. You know, just focus Mm -hmm. on the opponent's, and leave it at that. That's, that's, you know, I guess from a fan's perspective, from what I see, whether it's TV wrestling or independent wrestling, referees have one job. They have a job to do. And You're so, right. So they have to do a better job. It's not that hard mm-hmm. to ask, really. <laughs> well, you know, you would think so. But let me tell you, the, I've... Uh, <laughs> Over the many years I've been professional wrestler, I've been displeased with the refer- with the officiating uh, on several occasions. Um, but you know, you know, if a ref makes a bad call, you know, just like in any sport, you know, you got to deal with it. But you know, when that mm-hmm. when that bad call costs you a match, which in turn costs you money, which in then turn costs you, you know, ranking. Uh, you know, then that's when that's when it it really it really gets under my skin, and um, you know that's why both Sweet William Valentine and myself and Sunshine we're constantly like if you ever watch us wrestle, we're constantly talking to the referee, making sure they're paying attention, and making sure they see everything that they need to see mm-hmm. because you know. Because sometimes those referees don't even pay attention. No. Some of them don't know how to count. Well, that's the thing. They don't know how to, you know, you think counting to three, they probably, you thought they learned that maybe in kindergarten or whatever. Right. Or before that (laughs) even. But, you know, we have adult men out there that can't even get to three. 
you know, when, uh, you know, we cover them and they'll count to two and then, they, you know, they, they'll, I think they forget what number comes after two. You yeah. know, that, that, that speaks volumes at the talent and dedication that my boys have. Uh, big and tasty, you know, no matter how much they're up against, all, all the cheating that's rampant right now in the orga- organization, all the shady refs that, uh, you know, probably get paid under the table to throw some matches. Um, you know, despite all this adversity, my boys still managed to come up on top. And they're, they're winning. They're winning titles. They're, you know, and they're not having to resort to the same tactics that these other teams are having to resort to. Pretty much. That's Pretty exactly much. right. Uh, you know, uh, a few months ago, we we also wrestled for uh, a river, uh, an organization called River Valley Wrestling. And for uh, over, it was almost two years, we were the tag team champions there. I mean, nobody could beat it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just that simple. Um, we're not the tag team champions there now simply because uh, of an injury sustained by uh, to Sweet William Valentine, um, and he couldn't make make it to the 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 last time I that we went up that we were scheduled to wrestle there. So uh, the organization stripped us of our titles because we couldn't defend the titles within 30 days, which, you know, that is a rule, and it's, it really stinks um, that Sweden Valentine got injured. But, I mean, he, mm-hmm. he, he'll, be, he'll be fine. It's not, it's not a permanent injury or anything like that, but he did uh, bust his ribs up a little bit. and uh, So that's kind of one of the reasons why uh, that you haven't seen him as much lately. He's kind of recovering from that, and he's also doing some training with with the great Muda. So, you know, that's what he that's what he told me at least. So, I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. Uh, what can I say? If the, the great Muda wants to work with you, uh, oh yeah. What what time date? You can't pass that up. Yeah, you can't pass that up at all. Uh, we're definitely happy that he's recovering and that uh, he's doing okay. And uh, we, all, you know, I speak for all the real fans of Big and Tasty. We all look forward to seeing him back at it. Um, and of course, Big and Tasty gonna do what they always do. They are gonna compete. They are gonna collect wins. They are gonna collect titles. And there's nothing that anyone can do about it. McRoberts, McSchmoberts, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> yes. And just something to add to future promo. You know, if you want to call them McSchmoberts, you know, go ahead. Just Well, if we do, my friend, <laughs> you will, we'll make sure we tell it to come right from your mouth. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm very happy to be joined with Playboy Mike Trusty and Sunshine here on this anniversary. Speaking of anniversaries and milestones, Mike, you bring up, it's been 17 years since Big and Tasty has been 18. And, uh, yeah, being able to accomplish a lot, Sunshine has contributed, uh, throughout the years as well. Um, so... Just looking back at 17 years, man, um, how are you feeling at this stage of your career with everything you and, uh, and Will and Sunshine been able to accomplish for so many years and still going at the, all these years? Well, first of all, I want to say that uh, I, I will have to admit that uh, after 17 years, the next day after a big match, you know, I can really feel it. But that's okay. <laughs> that's what I think. That's what, uh, you know, Sunshine's there to uh, kind of, you know, help us prevent some of that stuff. But, uh, you know, I've I've had just hundreds of matches, you know, myself and Sweet William Valentine. And and we've, we've won, you know, we've been the been tag team champions, 
not only in Supreme Wrestling for uh, 11 times, uh, we've been the CWA Tag Team Champions uh, uh, once or twice. Uh, you know, we were River Valley Wrestling Tag Team Champions for almost two years. Um, we were, in fact, uh, we held the uh, WWA Tag Titles out of uh, Indianapolis for a, for a time back a few years back, too. And, uh, you know, we, we're just, you know, if, if there's ever a chance, and it's rare, but if there's ever a time where I team with somebody else, maybe Sweet William Valentine's not a, a, available or something, um, I can really, that's when I can really appreciate having Sweet William Valentine. There's anybody that's your partner for that long. We can just, we don't have to say anything. We can just give each other a look and we know what we're doing. And uh, mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. And, and, you know, and it's the same way with Sunshine. Like, you know, she started this, you know, just three years ago. And, like, now we don't have to tell her or, or say anything. She knows exactly when to do and when to do it. So That's awesome. You know, Sunshine, I, you know, I look at managers to use a sports analogy. You know, me and Mike, we we some sports heads here, <laughs> most notably in college basketball. Sunshine is like a coach, and she's you know giving them the the breakdown, giving them the the the, the game plan, and then it's all it's all about mm -hmm. executing. And uh, Mike and and Will, they do it to the best of their ability, and uh, and it results in wins and championships and. Just so much to in store for big and tasty, um, especially with all three just at an elite level and have the passion uh, for the for, for for professional wrestling. Um, so you know I'm do I'm done this broadcasting for fifteen, and big and tasty's been doing that for seventeen years. Uh, I'm happy to see. Just the growth and just just the elevation for Big and Tasty and Sunshine joining this camaraderie for, for the last three years just elevate this team even more. Um, and it kind of makes me appreciate the old school wrestling, just having the teams, having the managers, because you don't really see that in some of current wrestling these days. So it's good to see mm -hmm. some resemblance of the uh, the good old days through Big and Tasty and Sunshine. So uh, as a wrestling fan, I say thank you, Mike and Will and Sunshine, and I look forward to seeing more incredible good things from Big and Tasty in the future. Um, you can check them out on Facebook. Look up Big and Tasty on Facebook. Um, they'll keep you posted on upcoming shows, appearances. They might do some Zooms every now and then. I've been into some of the Zooms, and it's a very good conversation, very entertaining. Uh, so go check out Big and Tasty on Facebook. They are on um, Facebook, Big and Tasty 2. And Sunshine is on the gram. She's on Instagram yep. under Sunshine <laughs> MGMT. Uh, go follow her, Sunshine. She keeps you updated on her and what's next for her her clients. Can I say that? Her clients. <laughs> uh, so, thank you to Mike and thank you, Sunshine, for being on tonight. Appreciate you both. Tell William, William I said hello in one of these days. And I mean one of these days. I will see Big and Tasty compete in person. And I will cheer y'all on in person. Um, that day will come. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> so I know y'all been trying to lure me into these shows for as long as we've done these interviews. And keep at it because eventually it's going to happen. So uh, thank we'll you. We'll wear you down eventually. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm I'm ready. Just a matter <laughs> of the schedules aligned, uh, and uh, we'll go on from there. 
Um, but thank you both for being on tonight on this anniversary um, proceedings. Uh, continue success to all three of you. And uh, tell William I say hello. Kenny, well, as absolutely. always, Kenny, we appreciate you. I appreciate you as we well. Sure. And, we uh, sure do, man, Kenny. And uh, we will, uh, thanks again for having us. Congratulations on 15 years. And, uh, you know, you, uh, we'll come back anytime you want. Because on behalf of Sweet William Valentine, and, of course, you've got Miss Sunshine here, uh, you know, big and tasty, we'll give you all you want. And a little bit more. And a little bit more.